That was the last verse and the chorus of, uh, of a neat old song called No More the Moon Shines on Lorena. It was written by a guy named Louis Staub or Stab about 1889. Probably composed for uh, with a blackface performer in mind. That 1880s kind of late period minstrelsy, I would consider that. Um, but it's clearly, it's a, it's a humanitarian song, you know, it's not a racist song, even though it uses some racial language that's not acceptable anymore today, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's get into how, how to play the tune, and I'll, and I'll run, I'll talk about it a little bit more later. So, I first heard the tune from Jerron Paxton up in New York City. Look up Jerron Paxton if you want to hear him do No More the Moon Shines on Lorena. Immediately, I, I knew it was a, it was a late 1800s pop song, uh, but it, but it's a it's a it's above average. It's pretty good. I like the imagery of the raccoons and possums playing in the local vegetation. It's pretty neat. Jaron plays it in the old standard tuning, what we now call open C or minstrel tuning, which is G C G B D. I play it out of double C relative. G, C, G, C, D. I'll give you my exact tuning right now. I've got an electric tuner for that purpose. My exact tuning, D sharp, G sharp, D sharp, G sharp, A sharp. So I'm in double C, G, C, G, C, D, but I'm tuned down four frets so I can sing. This whole this song is kind of high pitched, so I had to down tune considerably to be able to sing the damn thing. <laughs> and so you can play it, um, you know. That's the what I call upstroke or up picking. People today call it Seeger style. Or you can down pick it, claw hammer. And then like I did in the intro there, I played it two finger picking. Okay, so double C, however you want to do it. If you want the tablature for this song, I will direct you to a link that I think is appearing up here. This link will take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very competitive, reasonable, um, generous monthly contribution. I think it's about $5 a month. You get the tab for this and every other song that you see me teach here. You also get access to our members only Discord server, forums, direct contact to me. You get a lot of behind the scenes uh, details and so forth. The main thing you get is the tablature. That's a big hit with people. Okay, if you don't need the tab, here's the visual rundown. I start off on the first string at the second fret. Now you'll, everything I do in this song is like chord shapes. So you got. Typical three chord song. Um, so I start off by doing a hammer on on the first string at the second fret. And I do a couple of plucks. Then the second string open. Then I walk into this chord. Third string open, second string open, 
Back to the hammer on the first string. Second string open, then I go to this other chord. Then we're gonna redo what we just did. Then back to that chord. Then I do a little ditty on the first string. And on the second string open. Okay. No more the moon shines on Lorena. As we sit and watch the coons climb the corn. And the possums playing in the wild bananas. With the old owl hooting like a horn. Nothing to it, folks. Nothing to it. So yeah, it's not a lot. I think some people think this is like an original song that was composed by a slave or a former slave. It's not. Louis Staub was just a, a white, sounds like he might have been a Jewish Yankee up there in New York City or Chicago. Like, I don't know where exactly he was at. And he just wrote a, a nice little pop song. But, and then we had the Carter family recorded it in about 1930. And then in recent years, Jerron Paxson up in New York, he did a great live performance of that, which you can find on YouTube if you search for it. And uh, uh, Jerron's performance really kind of introduced it to all the contemporary banjo players today. I'd never heard of the song before. It's kind of an obscure number. And uh, yeah, enjoy. I do hope you'll visit us at the Patreon group. If you don't like Patreon, you can find us on Subscribestar, subscribestar.com. If you want to stand alone, online course where I teach you everything, all the basics about the banjo. It's a good course for beginners or intermediate or advanced, whoever you are. Go to banjoheritage.com and you can sign up there. And that's the other way to get into the Banjo Heritage community if you don't want to do Patreon or Subscribestar. Okay, folks, thanks for looking.